Let me start by wishing a very happy new year to everybody watching this video and especially to that core group of viewers whose passion for yachting keeps them coming back for more video material. And if you are passionate about yachting, 2019 promises to be a sensational year, not just for the size and the style of some of the projects that are being delivered, but also for the direction that I'll be taking this YouTube channel in as I report back to you with a lot more content from behind the scenes of the yachting industry. But without any further ado, let's start by taking a look at some of the amazing projects due for delivery in 2019. We'll start with Project Ragnar. If you are a regular viewer of my channel, you'll know that I visited the Icon shipyard late last year to cover the construction of this yacht. And there are so many noteworthy aspects that make this vessel an essential feature in this vlog. Her design from the table of Redmond Whiteley Dixon is enough on its own to make her stand out from the crowd, inspired in fact by medieval war history. And that high bow really does conjure images of a medieval knight's helmet. But also the background of this vessel, since she is actually a conversion from a multi-purpose support vessel with an ice-breaking hull and a special propulsion system that can back the yacht out of a tight spot by making slush puppies of the ice as it goes. I'll be visiting Icon regularly in 2019 so you can see this particular yacht grow before your very eyes. Another yacht builder with whom I had the honor of collaborating in 2018 was Benetti, and they've just launched their largest ever yacht, known for now as Project FB277. This project was so shrouded in secrecy that I had to be very cautious when I was filming the shed that she was built in a few months ago for my Benetti Super Yacht City video. At 107 meters in length, she is the largest yacht ever built by this shipyard and marks what Benetti are calling the beginning of the Jiggy Yacht era. I have to say, this is no idle claim, since they have another two 100 meter plus Jiggy Yachts also in construction. Information on this yacht is fairly scarce for now, although I have no doubt that this will change as she gets closer to delivery, since I understand that she'll be made available for charter. What I can tell you is that she has an owner's suite on the upper deck, seven huge VIP staterooms on the main deck, and she was designed entirely by Benetti's in-house engineers and stylists. Really, a yacht for them to be very, very proud of. And it would be impossible to mention very large jigger yachts without also talking about German shipyard Lursen. A grand total of 11 of the 20 longest yachts in the world have been built by this shipyard that has become the first name that most people think of when discussing enormous privately owned luxury yachts. Recently, they completed sea trials of the beautiful 111 meter long yacht called Project Tiss. The exterior and the interior design was courtesy of British design studio Winch Design and she has six decks. This, combined with a beam of almost 17 meters, means that she will be a very high volume yacht, although quite honestly, Winch has done a great job of keeping her lines really quite sleek and elegant. There are a lot of exciting and frankly huge projects going on at Lurson right now, not just in their new construction facilities, but also in their significant refit shipyards, more about that though, later. If the planets have lined up like I hope they will, then I will have very recently published a video about the Bilgin shipyard in Istanbul and their remarkable projects of two 80 meter super yachts in construction side by side. One of these projects is slightly more advanced than the other that's due for delivery in 2019. The Yacht Designer is called Unique Yacht Design, and although they were a new name to me, 
I suspect that we'll be hearing a lot from them in the future, since these are beautifully designed vessels and should be admired and recognized wherever they are eventually destined to cruise. If you have watched the video that I produced about this shipyard, you'll know that both of the Project 263s have great tender and toy storage space in the bow, leaving the transom free for a truly enormous beach club and indoor swimming pool. I'm in discussions with Bilgin to make them a regular feature on my YouTube channel, so I feel confident that you'll be seeing plenty more of this yacht as it takes shape. A yacht that already has taken shape, and a rather lovely shape too if I may say so, is Project Bravo at the Ocean Co shipyard. This 109 meter long yacht was designed by Nuvolari Leonard, a design partnership that I am a huge fan of, not only for the incredible work that they do, but also for the fact that they are such approachable and interesting people when you meet them. Dan Leonard said that this design brief was to create something sleek and beautiful without compromising interior space. It looks like they did a great job of that and Raymond Langton were selected for the interior design, so two really heavyweight yacht design teams involved with this project. This project is actually Oceanco's first that uses what they call a life design that stands for lengthened, innovative, fuel efficient, eco-friendly design. Amongst other things, it uses an advanced hybrid propulsion system that includes the use of very powerful batteries. They've contained the engine room to just one level so that there's more space for guest areas. I should add that that really great footage that you've just seen was taken by Superyacht Times. They very kindly gave me permission to use it, and it seems to me that they're always first on the spot when a big yacht is launched to be taking videos and photographs. They have a great website, and they have a really cool YouTube channel where they put that kind of footage and other things as well on. So if you really enjoy the yachting industry and you like that sort of content, which I guess you must if you're here, I can't recommend them highly enough and I've put links to those sites in the description below. And talking of collaborating with other entities in the yachting industry, 2019 is shaping up to be a very interesting year for the Yachts For Sale YouTube channel. I guess like everybody else, I like a win-win situation. And when I first started this channel, it was because I wanted to win as a yacht broker. I thought this was a great way of marketing yachts that I have for sale. What I didn't realize is that so many people would also enjoy watching the videos simply because they're interested in yachts. So the win for me became a win for the viewers as well. But now a third winner has entered the scenario because frankly, to my surprise and absolute delight, many yacht builders have recognized this channel as being a great avenue in which they can display some of the amazing projects that they have underway. Large yacht builders like Benetti and emerging builders like Mengi Ye have all agreed to sponsor vlogs for this channel. I'll be following the construction of some very interesting projects at Icon throughout this coming year. Bilgin are interested in doing something very similar. And just before Christmas, I had a call from Lurson. I think we're both hoping that that conversation will result in some fantastic video content. Not all of those projects are set in stone just yet, but what I can tell you is that I'll be visiting some interesting yacht builders in the United Kingdom in early January, so you'll start to see an increase in content towards the beginning of February. My New Year's resolution to you is that I shall take my camera with me everywhere I go, with a view to reporting back as much as I possibly can. The quality I'm sure will vary from the very, very good when I use a professional camera crew to the little bit amateurish when I'm filming myself and especially if I have to edit myself. I can guarantee you this though, it will be a year of amazing content. So make sure you don't miss out on any of that by subscribing to my channel.